Hello and welcome back to Down Under and South of the Border. I'm Jacob Harrison, your host, and in this episode we're going to be covering San Francisco to Mexico City. Yes. Excuse me while I smoke my cigarette. I'm the last free man in Australia, in this nanny state, trying to take away my beautiful cigarettes. Not today, fascists. <laughs> San Francisco, right? Beautiful city. Very complicated. Complicated public transport system. Kind of expensive, but beautiful. And so much culture. Going to the Beat Poetry Museum. Museums. Riding from Fisherman's Wharf to Sausalito across the Golden Gate Bridge and then catching the ferry from there back to Fisherman's Wharf. You have to do that. It's amazing. It costs next to nothing and um, takes about three hours, four, if you want. Some mountains, but um, it's San Francisco. Wear a coat. It gets cold, even in spring, summer. It's crazy, weird climate. Um, but yeah, uh, I was supposed to split my time up between LA and San Francisco, but the more I liked San Francisco, the more I kind of realized I probably wouldn't like LA as much. And um, others had led me to believe the same. So um, I chose to spend all my time at, in San Francisco. I was staying with um, one of my campmates, Mary. Hi, Mary. Um, wonderful lady. <laughs> it was great. I was helping her eat all the leftover meatballs that we had from camp. It's good. Hope you're still getting through them. There might be some left for this year. Yeah, my spent days were spent seeing the sights, um, negotiating the complicated transport system, um, and most of my nights I was going out, uh, meeting Werner buddies, um, smoking too many cigarettes because they're so cheap. And wonderful and they don't have images like this on the box I know they're bad for me water is bad for you air is bad for you in certain situations lots of things are bad for you cars I'm an adult anyway so yeah going out meeting some interesting people um, trying new things all kinds of stuff um, me and Hector got to hang out a lot more, that was great. We went to the Full House house, like, Full House, remember that? Ah, oh, I love that show. Got to go there, got to, ah, oh, got to go to all the districts and all things. Had so much fun. Love San Francisco. Can't wait to go back. Expensive city, though. And all my friends are there. But I want to go to Portland as well next time. Yeah, had a blast in San Francisco, hanging out with my friends, meeting new ones. And, um, yeah, it came to it after about a week. Uh, it was time to go. Time to go. I was a bit worried because my Spanish was non-existent. Anyway, I had a little bit of time on the... I was catching a bus from San Francisco at 4 in the afternoon, arriving at LA at about 3 in... LAX at about 3 in the morning on the Greyhound. Um, that was... Not that pleasant. Did that. Didn't get much sleep, but a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I had to wait for the airport to open. Fun. Wait for my flight. Fun. Again, flying Delta, so through Salt Lake City. Fun. Then from Salt Lake City to Mexico City. Um, arrived at about 3 in the afternoon. Feeling quite bus lagged more than anything. Not jet lag, obviously. Just a bit lagged in general. On the flight from Salt Lake to Mexico City, uh, they'd run out of English um, customs forms, visa forms, whatever. And so I'm doing a, a Spanish um, customs form and realizing with deep horror that I know no Spanish at all. Luckily, uh, 
the lady next to me knew some English and could help me out. So I had, I was able to do that at least. Um, so we get out of Mexico City Airport, and um, I don't know what I'm doing. Couldn't find an ATM. Couldn't find anything. Found a taxi service to the to the hostel I was staying at um, in Zona Rosa. Um, taxi driver couldn't speak any English, I couldn't speak any Spanish, but we managed to belt out um, Total Eclipse of the Heart by um, Bonnie Tyler. It was on the radio, we did that together. It's quite bonding. I was like, I'm gonna like it here. I'm gonna like this town. So I was off to a good start. But then we were circling the block where the where the hostel was supposed to be, and we were looking at Google Maps, and neither of us could work it out. Anyway, he had to go, and I was like, right, whatever. So then I was circling the block with my bags um, for a while, and still couldn't find anything. And um, it wasn't until I went up this little alley, looking in this house where Google Maps was my phone, my precious phone, which had my translate and my maps and everything, and telling me where I'm supposed to be, and like, look at the window, it had like a scraped off trip view symbol, and, like, gently knocking at the door. Someone answers like, oh, Jacob? Yeah, Jacob. Yeah, hi, hi, hi. Like, oh, yes, we were expecting you a couple hours ago. Like, oh, yes, well, some signage would be nice. Anyway, I had to go find an ATM to pay my bill for my nights there. So, I had no idea where to find that. Um, so, I went for a bit of a wonder, and I thought that, you know, like in Australia, 7-Elevens might have an uh, ATM. But, uh, no. I walked into a 7-Eleven, no dice. Uh, as I was walking out, I bumped into this this dude, kind of alright looking, and um, he's like, "Hey, you American?" I'm like, no, 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 so it's very And uh, he's like, "Oh, hey, I'm American. Um, I have no friends here. Do you want to come have a drink with me?" I'm like, I didn't really want to that night. I wanted to just get in my bed, in my bunk and just get over the, the bus lag. Uh, uh, Alright. So anyway, he helped me find an ATM. And we went back, we got a couple of beers, we went back to the hostel and paid whatever I needed to pay, drank those, and uh, went for a look around Zona Rosa. Wow. I knew I was going to like it there. Uh, he took a long time to decide which bar he wanted to drink at. I don't know, they all look pretty awesome. And uh, we ended up as two gay men would at a little bar called the Pussy Bar. A lesbian bar. Uh, and um, it was cool. It was really cool. Um, unlike here, like bars don't really have a set scene. Uh, where it's like, you know, all the Asian twinks go there, all the old daddies go there, all the whoever go wherever. Um, it's much more loose. There's straight people, there's gay people, there's lesbians, there's people of all ages. It's very mixed. This is a Monday night, by the way. And it was going off. It was great. Anyway, we got a few drinks and, um, we were like, eh, I'll probably sleep with this dude tonight. We met another guy there. He was cool. Anyway, it was it was alright, just kind of laid back and I'm um, having a bit of a dancey dance and uh, yeah, he was alright. He was wearing a girdle though, I can tell. Um, anyway, things were progressing. A couple of kisses here and there. But um, I looked over the bar and I saw this guy, this amazing beautiful looking boy and you know made the eye so and um yeah I didn't really expect him to come out along but he did straight away and it's like what the hell is that and I'm like oh, I'm so sorry I, I, I oh, lo siento me hablo español muy 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 poco uh, it's battle, I could say. And he's like, oh, I'm actually an English teacher. And I'm like, oh. Uh, Me amo Jacob. He's like, oh, hi, I'm Bernardo. And, um, 
I don't know, within a minute or two, we'll basically uh, have set on the next floor. Amazing. Right in front of this, this American dude, uh, who was not too uh, pleased with this development. Uh, he kept borrowing my phone to try and call his friends. Uh, no, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, me and Bernardo were fondling and dancing and carrying on and having a great old time. And uh, we added each other on WhatsApp, which I'd only just had, exchanged phone numbers. And um, we added each other on Facebook, which is, I only started doing that um, when I was at Burning Man. Um, you know, who does that when they're out? There'll be a reason I'm telling you this. Anyway, uh, Bernardo had class the next day, so, and I met his lovely friend, Alexa. Hi, Alexa. Hi, Bernardo, too, if you're watching. Um, anyway, um, they had to go, and that was cool, but we're, me and Bernardo were going to meet up tomorrow, and we're going to go to go um, to Quebec Castle and something else. Um, so, that was cool. Um, anyway, I went back to the table, and uh, you know, I was talking to the American for a little bit more. He was still taking my phone and going outside and talking and whatever. I'm like, hey, I got her. I was in cloud nine. I was walking on air. Um, had a few more drinks, probably too few too many. I should have probably gone back to my hostel at the stage. The lag has really kicked in. The booze didn't help. And uh, this is where there's a brief intermission in the night's festivities. Next thing I can remember, uh, I was outside of uh, the Pussy Bar. This this dude, this other fairly attractive young with a snapper, uh, was crying in my arms about something, I don't know. And um, uh, I'm like, oh yeah, 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 I'm so sorry. Um, and I'm like, doing the what's, what's over? Wallet, keys, phone, 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 phone. Like, I, I don't know what your problem is. I don't care. Uh, I don't care. Um, I, I need to find my phone. I need to find my phone. I need to find my phone. I can find it on me. But being me, these things always turn up. It's probably in another pocket. It's probably somewhere. Anyway, uh, I get back to my hostel, which is just around the corner. And I sleep the sleep of the just. The next morning though, no phone. I will let you in on how the rest of the week went next time on Down Under and South of the Border. Remember to hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Um, let's connect. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to hear about more from. Um, we've got some great stuff coming up, um, more, more about the holiday obviously, um, more about what's happening here in Australia, uh, more about everything really. Uh, remember to like Down Under and South of the Border on Facebook, that's where all the social media is getting wrangled. Follow me on Instagram for butt shots and all kinds of other fun things. And love you guys, have a great, great day, night, week, year, life. Love you. Adios amigos.